Hey everybody, it's Craig Pecta here, and in this video, I want to start by first asking you a question. Have you ever struggled a little bit when it comes to color grading your vlog footage from the Panasonic GH5? Because if you have, you're not alone, because I've found it very difficult to get accurate looking skin tones and colors from my vlog footage. So I looked for a bunch of different LUTs to help with the color grading process, and I found two LUTs recently that do a really good job of making authentic, real-looking skin tones from the GH5, much better than the natural color profile that I was using before. So in this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes, and we're going to look at the clip first with the Panasonic Vericam LUT, and then we're going to look at the Emotive Color LUT. So let's get right into it, and then stick around to the end of the video, and then I'll go through some of the things that I discovered while grading using these LUTs. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'll show you where you can get the first LUT. So the first LUT is the Vericam LUT. Now I'll put a link below in the description box where you can download these. Now these are for the Vericam, the Panasonic Vericam, but they work really well with the GH5 as you can see. So they have a LUT library which is free, and if you're using Adobe Premiere, you can just click here and you can download that. Now they have a LUT that you can put on camera. I don't know if it works with the GH5, I haven't used it yet, but you can download that here as well. And then you can see if you scroll down, you can see all the different LUTs. You can click here and you can see how they all look. So you can download all of these for free. I'll put a link to this site right here in the description. Now the second part of this video is a paid LUT. Now this is the Aria Alexa conversion to the GH5. So if you want Aria Alexa type colors and highlight roll off on your GH5, then Mode of Color has this. Now you can see this is the before and after. There's an overview. Now the only difference is this is a paid LUT and they have a daytime as well as a tungsten. You can order one or the other or both. Now it's up to you whether you think it's worth the paid upgrade to this LUT or not. I don't get paid to tell you about this video. I just found these and I found them both very good and they have different things that I like about both of them. So I just want you to be aware of those. I'll put links below in the description. So let's go back to Adobe Premiere. So you can see here, they handle things differently. You can see the color tones of the skin are different. You can see here, the skin sort of got a little bit more orange, a little bit more, I'd say almost of a healthy look to it. Then you can see here, it's a little more yellow. And then with the emotive color too, it's also a little more contrasty. Now these are both really subject 
to having proper exposure. So whatever one you decide to use, make sure that you follow the exposure guidelines correctly for both of these LUTs. Now I shot this video before I had these LUTs, and so obviously my exposure is a little bit all over the place. You could probably see that in this video. But now that I have the PDF documentation, I'm going to decide which LUT I want to use, and then I'm going to follow that PDF closely for the next shoot. So getting my exposures right in camera, getting my white balance right, and then I should have even better results. But as you can see, I mean, both of these are very good. You can change these a little bit. You can see this one has a little bit less contrast, a little bit less darks. But then the skin tones have a certain pleasing tone to them. And then you can see here, also very interesting skin tone. You may prefer this, but also the blacks are darker too. So they're both really different looking images. Uh, very slight variations though. It's really up to you and your personal preference. I think either one is a great advantage if you're color grading Vlog L from your GH5. I think this is the first time I've seen really good looking skin colors and skin tones coming from the GH5 Vlog. So a lot of people say I don't like to use Vlog or Cine D and they stick with the natural. The only thing is with the natural profile, you're not getting as much dynamic range out of your camera. So shoot Vlog, try one of these out. You might want to try the Vericam ones first because they're free, but it's really up to you. I'll put links below in the description and let me know if you have a preference just from watching this video. Do you like the look of the Vericam LUT better than the Emotive Color LUT? Let me know what you think in the description box below this video. Hey, it's Greg back to here again, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up for this video. Now also, if you have any helpful tips as far as getting exposure with your vlog footage or color grading, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a comment below and share your experience with the rest of us watching this video. Now, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I come out with new videos every week. So if you don't want to miss those, just click on the subscribe button and then hit that bell notification and you'll be notified notified of my future video updates. All right, thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Fashion Kung Fu.